Hey guys, Captain Rush here with Local Knowledge, and today I want to talk to you guys about cast nets. Right towards these birds, right here. But we're gonna, just going to cover a few tips that might help you when you're out on the water to catch some bait. A little mix, huh? Razors, sandies. So as you can see here, I have two different size cast nets. Some people can't throw a 12-foot net. Some people can't throw a 10-foot net. You might need an 8-foot net. you got to find a net that fits your needs. There's another reason, mesh size. This net has to be smaller because I'm using quarter inch stretch right here. That means my mesh size is a lot smaller than this three inch stretch here. So if I have this net in a 12 or a 14 foot size, this net gets so bulky with all the material because of the smaller mesh, it makes it really difficult to hold in your hands. It makes it really difficult to throw. The reason for the different size meshes is the size of the bait you're trying to catch. If you're throwing on small glass minnows or really small pilchards, this is the net you're gonna wanna use. You're gonna wanna use this net so the bait doesn't gill. If I were to throw this net right here, which is 3 8 stretch, I'd have a huge problem if I threw this net on small baits. It's gonna be one and done, I'm gonna throw it, there's gonna be bait gilled throughout the entire net. I'm not gonna be able to lift it up. I'm gonna spend the next hour cleaning this net, getting the bait out of it if I wanted to throw it again. So now let's get into the actual act of throwing the cast net. I always start right here at my rope. You can see I got this nice little loop in the end. This loop goes right around my left wrist. I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna start with on my left wrist. Make a couple coils around my wrist. And now you can see I'm making a nice tight coil right here. It all starts with the rope. You want everything to be clean. You don't want to have a big messy rope all coiled uneven and messy here. That just gives you one more spot to get tangled up in, in the net when you throw it. Uh, it adds friction to the net if it's laying against the net. So I want my coils to be nice, tight, even, neat. Take your time, make sure everything is straight. Very, very important. Then I'm gonna come down to what we call the horn of the net. So this is the horn. And you can see how I grab that horn, right? Reach down, I grab it just like it is and pull it right towards me right away. And you can see how that pretty much straightens everything out right away. I'm looking down the net, I can see everything's laying straight. Now it's time for me to take my first grab. My first section of net I'm gonna grab is gonna be right under the horn right here. Next, I'm sliding my right hand all the way down to roughly about my hip. Now with a 12 foot net, I'm gonna grab two sections here. This is my first, right? Fold it over. Grab another section, once again, right down to my hip. And now, this is going in that same hand. I'm coming underneath and grabbing both sections right here. As you can see, I have roughly two-thirds of the net in my left hand. The last third is dangling down below. Everything's nice and clean and neat here. And I'm going to come right by my hip and I'm gonna grab some lead line. This lead line is now gonna go in my mouth. Not the leads, but the lead line is going in my mouth, okay? I put my right hand underneath the net. One, two, three, four. Roughly a third of the net goes in that hand. I'm gonna drop it into my arm and grab this section of net with my hand, come around. I'm squeezing the lead line with my thumb and my pointer finger there. And this is very simple. Now it's time to get ready to throw the net. You never want to throw the net into the wind. That is the biggest tip I could give you. You're always trying to get a good 
downwind throw on the bait. The wind's always going to be at your back. The other thing is, just like an athlete, you want to get in a good athletic stance. You're standing on the bow, a lot of times there could be waves, a lot of times it could be a little choppy. You want to bend your knees a little bit, open your hips up, and be in a nice athletic stance there. Knees are bent, I'm stable, okay? I could use this to swing back, okay? You see my hips? Everything is shifting back. I'm shifting my weight back. And then I'm just gonna shift everything forward. So basically it's gonna look like this when I throw this net. Swing my hands back and I come forward. Now here's another little tip I have for you. When I throw this net, I'm actually turning my wrist down kind of towards the water. It's almost like I'm throwing a Frisbee. My palm is facing up. I'm pinching this lead line in between my thumb and pointer finger, shifting my weight back and letting it go forward. As I start to come around and I start to release that net, I'm gonna spread my hands apart a little bit let everything feather out some. The last thing I'm gonna let go of is what's in my right hand, that lead line in my right hand. Well, there you have it, guys. Those are my techniques for throwing a cast net. A couple of the few takeaways I want you to get from this video are always make sure you load the net properly, make sure everything's straight, in line, there's zero tangles, Take your time in the loading process. The other thing is, always throw this net downwind. You always want the wind at your back. You're trying to get this net as open as possible and that wind is your friend, as long as it's at your back. If you have a nice open park by your house or somewhere you could drive to, get a cast net, practice, practice, practice. The more you do it, the better you're gonna be at it. If you like this content, please subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.